Teddy here, Teddy Rubskin here, and today we're doing the top 10 movie bad guys, the most awesome villains ever in fucking movies. Starting with number 10, Simon Phoenix from Demolition Man. Yeah, you know, Wesley Snipes usually plays good guys, but in Demolition Man, he's the fucking psycho killer bad guy, and he's great. With that bleach blonde hair, the one fucking psycho eye. Yeah, he's crazy. Beating the fuck out of Sylvester Stallone for most of the fucking movie. That's not a great fucking movie, but it is pretty fucking funny and action packed. And uh, Simon Phoenix is what makes the movie fucking awesome. Number nine, Will Ferrell's character in Zoolander. Yeah, this guy's hilarious. He's a great fucking bad guy, though. He's like crazy. <laughs> I mean, look at that hair. He's fucking great. And uh, he etched out uh, Dr. Evil for the list. I mean, Dr. Evil's a pretty funny bad guy, but uh, he's also kind of annoying. You know, by the third Austin Powers movie, I was like, get the fuck out of here. Fucking annoying. And hey, number eight is Zark from Tron. Oh, he's awesome. He, like, glows red when he's fucking pissed off. He's got that laser frisbee he can chuck at you. And then in the movie, where, like, Tron, like, thinks he kills him, like, kicks him in the head. But no, no, he's not dead. He grows to super size and, like, keeps coming after you. Yeah. Can't keep Zark down. Hell no. Number seven is the Psycho from Seven. Oh, yeah. He's a guy going around, like, torturing people to seven deadly sins. Oh, this movie's fucking awesome. Yeah. And the fucking Psycho in the movie. He's an awesome fucking Psycho. And in the movie, you don't even know who the fuck he is. He's John Doe. No idea who he is or why he's doing it. Just it's crazy. Seven, yeah. Number six is Darth Vader, and uh, he would be a little higher on the list. The original fucking Star Wars movies, he's awesome. But uh, in the new Star Wars movies, on Phantom Menace and fucking Attack of the Clones, he's he's kind of a dorky little kid. I don't really like him much, you know, without the helmet on. But fucking when he's in the helmet and that's like so with the fucking lightsaber, Darth Vader's awesome. Yeah. yeah but not not Anakin Skywalker. Darth fucking Vader. Yeah. Number five, the T one thousand from Terminator 2. Liquid metal guy is fucking awesome, man. He's unstoppable. You can't do nothing to stop the liquid metal guy. He just keeps coming after him, shoot him, blow him up, you can't stop him. Fuck no. Robert Patrick. He's like the cop who like you know, he's, he's fucking cold-hearted. Look at those fucking psycho eyes. He's scary as shit. Number four. Well, you know, there's a bunch of bad guys in Robocop. You know, there's the Ed 209. That's awesome. And the, the corporate motherfucker. But the baddest bad guy in Robocop is this guy, Clarence. He's the guy who fucking kills Peter Weller's character. Oh, he doesn't just kill him. He, like, tortures him. He, like, uh, fucking shoots off his hand with a fucking shotgun. He's fucking crazy, psycho son of a bitch. And then, you know, Peter Weller gets rebuilt in the Robocop and goes after his fucking psycho. Yeah. And then, plus, he's the dad from uh, fucking that 70s show. He's red. <laughs> fucking Robocop, he's what? Psycho son of a bitch. Number three. Natasha Hentridge character in Species. Oh, yeah. She's a sexy bad guy. And she doesn't want to kill you. She wants to fuck you. <laughs> yeah, have you, like, alien babies who fucking take over the world. Yeah, it's awesome. She, like, walks around the whole movie, like, naked, trying to find somebody to fuck. <laughs> Love that fuck movie. Species. It's awesome. Number two is Alex. From the fucking Clockwork Orange. Oh yeah, this guy is one psychotic motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, look at him. He's crazy. He's got crazy eyes. Now, this guy, he thinks that the rape and murder is just a good way to spend your Saturday night. A little ultra violence in the fucking crazy fucked up, like, future world. Oh, man. Fucking Clockwork Orange is one fucked up, crazy ass fucking movie. And Alex is number two. Craziest fucking bad guy ever. But the number one crazy fucking psycho villain of all time has got to be the fucking Joker, you know? Whether you're talking about fucking Jack Nicholson and Batman, fucking Heath Ledger and the fucking Dark Knight, the fucking Joker 
is the most awesome fucking bad guy ever. Yeah. He's like Batman's number one fucking villain. I mean, seriously, who else compares to fucking Riddler, fucking Catwoman? Nah, 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 fucking Penguin, get the fuck out of here. It's the fucking Joker. And he's a psycho son of a bitch. Oh yeah, he's killing people for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And you know he's gotta be in the fucking next Batman movie. The internet rumors have been floating around about who's gonna play him in the next movie. They've been saying maybe it's gonna be Daniel Day-Lewis. Maybe he could do it. Okay, looks alright. How about the fucking Johnny Depp? Yeah, and there's been some rumors floating around that maybe it'll be James DeFranco. He was a uh, fucking... And the, the fucking Green Goblin. Yeah, he could do it. Sure, he kinda looks like he's led you a little bit. You know, how, Matthew McConaughey? Seriously, Matthew McConaughey? Owen fucking Wilson? Really? Owen fucking Wilson? Uh, my pick to play the fucking Joker in the next fucking movie would be Crispin Glover. Yeah, seriously. Look at him. He looks pretty good. I mean, he, this guy's genuinely fucking crazy. So, yeah, I think he, he's actually nuts.